In this video, we have given that x square plus y into x plus y square is equal to x minus y whole cube. And we have to find non-zero integers x and y. Non-zero integers means x and y belongs to integers and not equal to zero. So here, if we multiply x square plus y and x plus y square, then we get x cube plus x square times y square will be x square y square plus here x y plus y into y square will be y cube is equal to x minus y whole cube will be x cube minus y cube minus 3 x square y plus 3 x y square and now x cube and x cube will get cancelled and here y is common in both side so we can take y common and then we get x square y plus x plus y square is equal to here if we take y common then we get minus y square minus 3x square plus 3xy and we know that y is not equal to 0 so we can cancel y from both side so we get x square y plus x and y square plus y square will be plus 2y square and plus 3x square minus 3xy is equal to 0 and now we have 2y square plus here we have x square y and here we have minus 3xy so it will be x square minus 3x times y and now we have 3x square plus x 3x square plus x is equal to 0 so now this is a quadratic equation in y so we can find the value of y that will be minus b that is minus of x square minus 3x plus minus root under b square that will be x square minus 3x whole square minus 4ac that will be 4 into 2 into c is 3x square plus x by 2a that will be 2 into 2 and now we have x and y integer so y can be integer if this term in a square root is a perfect square so from here we can conclude that x square minus 3x whole square minus 4 into 2 into 3x square plus x must be perfect square and now here x square minus 3x whole square will be x to the power 4 plus 9x square minus 6x cube and here we get minus 8 into 3 will be 24x square and minus 8x is equal to here we can write a square is some m square where m is any integer and now we have x to the power 4 and minus 6x cube and plus 9x square minus 24x square will be minus 15x square and minus 8x is equal to m square and now we can take x common so we get x cube minus 6x square minus 15x minus 8 is equal to m square and now if we try to solve this cubic equation then clearly one is not a solution and if we put x is equal to minus 1 then we get minus 1 and here we get minus 6 and plus 15 minus 8 so it will be 0 so x is equal to minus 1 is a solution so we get x into here we get 
x plus 1 because minus 1 is a solution and second factor will be for x cube we need x square and now 1 into x square will be x square so for minus 6 x square we need minus 7 x and 1 into minus 7 x will be minus 7 x so for minus 15 x we need minus 8 that is equal to m square and now we get x into x plus 1 and here if we add 1 and minus 8 then we get minus 7 and if we multiply 1 and minus 8 then we get minus 8 so it will be x plus 1 into x minus 8 is equal to m square and now we get x into x plus 1 whole square into x minus 8 is equal to m square and now 8x is equal to 0 and minus 1 and 8 this will be 0 and we know that 0 is a perfect square and we also have x and y not equal to 0 so x cannot be equal to 0 so from here we get x is equal to minus 1 and 8 for which this is 0 and also m can be any non-zero number so here we have x into x plus 1 a square into x minus 8 is equal to m square and m also can be any number other than 0 so here this x plus 1 whole square is always perfect square so we get x times x minus 8 must be perfect square so i am writing this as some n square where n is any number and now we get x square minus 8x is equal to n square and now we can write this as x square minus 8x plus 16 minus 16 is equal to n square and it can be written as x minus 4 whole square minus 16 is equal to n square and now here x minus 4 whole square is a perfect square and n square is also a perfect square so the difference of 2 square is 16 so n square can be equal to 0 1 4 9 16 25 36 49 64 81 100 and so on and here after 81 the difference is greater than 16 and before 81 the difference between 0 and 16 is a 16 and the difference between 9 and 25 is a 16 so we get x minus 4 whole square is equal to 16 and the second value will be x minus 4 whole square is equal to 25 and now here we can get x minus 4 is equal to plus minus 4 or we get x is equal to 0 or 8 and here we can get x minus 4 is equal to plus minus 5 or we get x is equal to minus 5 plus 4 will be minus 1 or 9 and now we know that x is not equal to 0 so here we get x is equal to 8 minus 1 and 9 and now here we have got x is equal to minus 1 and 8 and now we get an additional value 9 so x is equal to 8 minus 1 and 9 and now we have y is equal to this so i am copying this and
pasting it here and now we have x is equal to 8 minus 1 and 9 so if we put x is equal to 8 8 x is equal to 8 we get y is equal to minus x square will be 64 minus 3 into 8 will be 24 plus minus 8x is equal to 8, this is 0, here 8x is equal to minus 1 and 8, this will be 0, so 8x is equal to 8, this is 0 by 4 and it will be minus 40 by 4, that will be minus 10 and now at x is equal to minus 1, we get y is equal to, we get minus of 1 plus 3 and this will be 0 by 4. At x is equal to minus 1, we get minus of 1 plus 3 and plus minus 0 by 4 and it will be minus 1. And now at x is equal to 9, at x is equal to 9, we get y is equal to, here I am pasting the value of y and now we get minus of 9 square that will be 81 minus 27 plus minus root under 81 minus 27 whole square minus 8 into 3x square will be 243 plus 9 by 2 into 2 will be 4 and now we get y is equal to minus 81 minus 27 will be 54 plus minus root under 54 square minus 8 into 252 by 4 and now here we can write y is equal to minus 54 plus minus here 54 square has a factor of 6 square and 8 has a factor of 4 and 252 has a factor of 9 so we can take 6 out of the square root so we get 9 square minus here we get 2 and 252 by 9 will be 2 and 8 by 4 and now we get y is equal to minus 54 plus minus 6 root 81 minus 56 will be 25 by 4 and now we get y is equal to minus 54 plus minus 30 by 4 minus 54 plus minus 30 by 4 and it will be minus 84 by 4 will be minus 21 and minus 24 by 4 will be minus 6. So we get x y is equal to here at x is equal to 8 y is equal to minus 10 and at x is equal to minus 1 y is equal to minus 1. We have at x is equal to 8 y is equal to minus 10 and at x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to minus 1 and at x is equal to 9, we have y is equal to minus 21 and minus 6. At x is equal to 9, y is equal to minus 21 and at x is equal to 9, y is also minus 6. So these are the four values of x and y.